Here with Tim Anderson. Tim, this was somewhat expected, you're telling me from traders, that the circuit breaker, breaker would come in. A lot of European markets were down over 8%. Our first circuit breaker threshold is 7%. We hit that uh, a little bit less than five minutes into the opening. Uh, and we're going to open and reopen in a couple of minutes. I really doubt that we'll hit the second circuit breaker, which would be down 13% on the day for the S&P 500 cash. What will stop this? I was just talking to a trader earlier that was telling me the government needs to sell more bonds because the bond market is just in crisis. Right well, that's just a, a, a thing that might take place over uh, the rest of the week into next week, whenever their next uh, Treasury uh, refunding and auction is scheduled for. But I just think <clears throat> that when we get to a level where people can feel that the reset that's got to go on throughout the oil industry to react to the Saudis cutting prices by 20%, even though oil prices are down, maybe by as much as 30%, people anticipate that we could press into the low 20s for the price of oil, and then investors will finally say, okay, we're to a level now that I can deal with, and this is a fair value. As we wait for the next 30 seconds before we reopen, what will you be looking at for at this uh, reopen? I would just say one thing that's, I think, very important for anybody out there that's thinking about buying or selling stocks today. On this next reopening, stocks will not be indicated. So I would highly advise if people are going to be entering orders into whatever system they're using, please use a limit for your stock orders today. All right, and we are now about to open in just five seconds to see where we open, to see if we are holding at this level, if we go lower. You're saying you don't think that this we're going to get down to 13%. No, I, w I would be very surprised to see that. All right, and we are now, res we should be resuming opening just about now. Uh, so Alexis, Brian, back to you guys. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and